Welcome to Get Mojo. We do the research so you don't have to. In this video, we're offering our picks for the five best photography DSLRs in the market in 2020. If you're a photographer, having an eye for a great photo is massively important, but having the right gear should never be overlooked. So if you're in the market for a new camera, we're here to help. We've sifted through numerous websites and consumer reviews to present our five recommended products. Okay, first up, the front runner, Nikon D7500, an excellent alternative to the slightly pricier D500, which it shares the same sensor and processor. The D7500 may not have any super advanced features, but if you want a solid, affordable, all-around camera for various different types of work, it's perfect. With a tilting touchscreen, max burst speed of 8 frames per second, 20.9 megapixels, and 4K video capabilities, it may be a cheaper option at $900, but it certainly doesn't skimp on features. The comparable, Canon EOS 90D. The EOS 90D goes head-to-head -head with the aforementioned D7500. Being slightly more expensive at around $1,100, it has a few superior features, like 32.5 megapixels, 10 frames per second continuous shooting capabilities, and uncropped 4K video capture. Essentially, the EOS 90D is aimed at those looking to move away from casual to professional shooting, so if that's you, it could be a great investment. The beginner choice. Canon EOS Rebel SL3. If you're just starting out or don't plan on using your camera all that often, then this affordable $500 SL3 model is a great choice. True, it's not Canon's cheapest camera, but if you want to future-proof your photography setup, then the SL3's 24.2 megapixels, very angle touchscreen, and snappy autofocus will really help you out. Plus, we love the SL3's guided user interface, which helps beginners from getting overwhelmed with the camera's functions. The Travel Companion, Nikon D3500. Similarly to Canon's Rebel SL3, the D3500 prioritizes portability and affordability. Priced at around $400, and that's with an 1855mm kit lens, the D3500 is also ideal for beginners thanks to its available guide mode, as well as a great secondary travel camera choice for those who are already loyal Nikon owners. The Alternative, Pentax K1 Mark II. If you want something a little different, or you're just simply not a fan of Canon or Nikon, all is not lost. Pentax's K1 Mark II may be our alternative choice, but it's no slouch. Boasting a full-frame sensor, 36 megapixels, and 5-axis image stabilization, it may be pricey at $1,200 and only have a max burst speed of 4.5 frames per second and 1080p video capabilities, but it's a beast. With a rock-solid, weather-sealed build quality that will take anything you're likely to throw at it. So which DSLR camera should you choose? Well, a lot of the time with camera equipment, you just have to be willing to compromise. So if you're planning on doing just photography, then don't stress that your gear only shoots 1080p video. Stay tuned to Get Mojo for the most complete video product reviews.